what is going on YouTube today I wasn't even gonna do a video today but then I seen this like strange concoction of a meal on Uber Eats and I was like you know what I have to get it so it's not strange in the fact that like the concoctions on their own are weird because I've had them both on their own multiple times before but together I've never even seen it before so I originally wanted to get like lobster mac and cheese but the place to get it was closed so I settled for this. So I got myself here in this nice little black box. I actually like how black this box is. It's so nice. It's called a routine. So it's a Reuben and poutine put together. I thought it would come in something like smaller so you guys can see it, but we'll see what we can do here. But before we get started, guys, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you want to try to talk about. Now do that as well. Check out timestamps in the description. Let's open this up and see what we're working with. Wow. Oh, okay. Originally from the picture, it looked like there's no fries in it, but I guess it's a routine there is fries. Look at this here. It looks pretty good, honestly. What does it got in it? So it's got onion I see, Reuben, fries, gravy, cheese. I think I've seen pickles in it or something like that. And I feel like I smell like ketchup in here, but I know there's no ketchup in this. So we're gonna prop this up the best we can. Oh, that's actually not too bad. And go for the first bite here with the routine. It's about to fall. Okay, there's something in it that's like, oh, I know where it is. It's the, it's the pickle. The pickle in it is so overpowering. I didn't think I ate a pickle. Yeah. So there's pickles in it. You can see it like scattered throughout. Like I got one right here. But the pickle's so overpowering that like almost the main taste of it is pickle. And it's kind of throwing me off a bit because why is it like that? Mm. I mean, it's still pretty good though. I'm trying to decide if it'd be better without the pickle or not. One thing I like about this poutine is it's not overly salty, which a lot of poutines can, can be because of the mixture of fries, gravy, and cheese. All things that are like salty. And like, especially this one with a lot of pickles in it, I'm surprised. Gravy's nice. It's nice and hot too. Or not like hot hot, but it's like warm. I'm assuming that's mayonnaise on it too. We're just adding like a little nice touch to it as well, but the star of this show is the Reuben. The Reuben is Reubening right now. That's one thing that I feel is missing from a lot of these uh, dishes, especially a poutine, is meat. I feel like a poutine could greatly benefit with having meat in it. You know, Ruben, buffalo chicken, steak. Steak poutine sounds like it'd be really good. Like all these things can help enhance the meal of a poutine because I feel like a poutine is pretty basic. But you know, it's simplicity is the thing that like a lot of people love about it. I like how simple it is too. Fries, cheese, and gravy, like we even thought of that. But that being said, guys, how was your day today? It is finally my weekend. I get to sleep. Kinda. So one thing about me, I love Sherlock Holmes. Like, I love murder mystery. Anything that has to do with murder mystery, I absolutely love and adore. So naturally I decided to watch not Sherlock Holmes, which was like the obvious thing I was about to say. I've already seen that. Actually, fun fact about that. I started watching that like when it came out and I was so bored. And then I watched it again during COVID and I'm like, this is incredible. Like the last episode of that, of Sherlock Holmes, 
is like one of my favorite episodes of any show ever. It's so good, so well made. But I actually started and finished Lupin. And when I tell you, I loved Lupin. I thought it was really good. It's just like the characters were so interesting. It was really making you like root for them and stuff, especially the main character. Like the backstory was incredible and all that. The pacing was good. The action was nice. And there's no one really in the show that I found insufferable. My favorite character, or at least my favorite like dynamic between characters was uh, was uh, uh, a Sane and Benjamin. I felt like their relationship was so cool and it was like so tight, like a brotherly bond. That's why it like killed me. Spoiler, by the way, when he like sends them to jail, man, I was so sad. I was like, they better get, he better get this guy out of jail. There's no way you send your friend to jail to save your mom who abandoned you for like 30 years, 25 years. There's no way. Classic Lupin fashion. I wasn't even aware that Lupin's like, there. it's an actual book. Probably there's like an anime for it too. Cartoons probably. There's the actual books. I heard there was a manga for it too. I'm like what? Like Lupin's very, very Sherlock Holmesy. I have no idea which one came out first, but you can very much tell that one was like influenced by the other. The yeah, Sherlock Holmes is more like a like a genius who solves crimes, whereas Lupin is like a genius who commits crimes. But in like a Robin Hood matter, I like Moriarty. Although, I'm not sure if Moriarty was into like philanthropy and stuff, so I'm, I'm not too sure. But the ending of it was stupendous. I loved how it ended, it ended like nice and full. Like the show could have ended there and it would have been completely fine, but they obviously left off at a cliffhanger. And the cliffhanger is basically a Sane or a, a, a Sane? A son? A Sane goes to jail and in the jail cell next to him is the guy he put in jail in like the second season, Pellegrini. And he basically sent him like a photo of himself of like the same way he's younger and like a passage or part of the book or poem or something like that. That's basically telling him that he turned one of his close people, his close friends against him and he has a plan to get back at him. Now the real question is, who did Pellegrini get to turn on a scene? I, I don't know. Like, I feel like Pellegrini's daughter would be like too much of the obvious one. So I don't think it's that. It could be Benjamin, because apparently Benjamin and him were in the same imprisonment together. But I don't think it's him. I think they're gonna do something crazy. Like it's probably gonna be like, it's probably gonna be like his mom or Claire. Just maybe. The mom one would be like crazy, but at the same time, it's like, that's like the most plausible one to me because the mom's like, the mom's greedy. The mom's a thief too, so like, To what is she a thief? Would she be willing to give up her son for money? Who knows? Remember, she got out of jail and was making money, right? She could have definitely came back and like took out and looked after a saying, but she never did. And maybe she, you know what? I could be overthinking, but maybe she like came back, thought of a plan with Pellegrini, and she already knew about Jean Luc Keller and did like some next like plan to get him out of a picture so they could like go into their plan full throttle. I have no idea. There's so many possibilities with it and I can't wait. I think it might come out next year, but I actually don't know because I don't even know when the third season came out. I've known about the show for a long time. I just never watched it. But we're gonna get into the final bite here because wow, even though this is good, whew, it's like, it's so much. The the pickles is, they're, they're taking me out. The acidity from the pickles is really like working, working number on me right now. Is good though. All right, guys, and with that being said, that was Fiona McCool's Ruben Teen. I think, oh, Routine actually, it's called Routine. That's actually a pretty cool name. It's like Routine, yeah. 
it wasn't too bad. It was pretty good. I just, I think it would have been better without all the pickles in it because the pickles gave it like a really acidic, like pickly taste. And for me, that was just a little bit too much, but I'll still give it like a seven and a half out of 10. And with that being said, guys, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if anything you want me to try it, anything you want me to talk about. I'm down to that. Always check out this Jess Fizz in the side. And yeah, Lupin was really good. I thought it was really good. I give it like an eight out of 10. I just can't wait to see what the next season is going to be because I think the next season is going to be really good too. And Fiona McCool's 7.5 out of 10 routine and first true review. Peace.